like I said, this is the final version. We cut out the Ken Blackwell nude scene. Um, yes, read. Is uh, Video of the Vote going to, do you plan on doing this on, in, you know, November? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And um, we, what's, what's great is that as much as we threw that together uh, right before the election in 2006, this time we actually, we've actually gotten grant funding that'll allow us to be able to, at the very least, you know, hopefully put cameras in people's hands and, you know, uh, port bandwidth and stuff like that. But some of these early investigative reported pieces that we want to do would hopefully be something that could similarly entice the media and be able to, uh, you know, also tell people how much, like, no, no matter how much you think you might be registered, you really should check the end because that's the easiest way to, to you know, create that gap. Are you working in any sort of a relationship with MoveOn.org? Because they've had screening parties for films to get that information out. I mean, have you contacted them at all? Because they'd be able yeah, to yeah. And as, as far as I know, because I, I, you know, Holly, my executive producer, is actually sick tonight. I couldn't be here. She is. Uh, God, she got herself sick reaching out to all these different thousands of groups that she's acquired <laughs> contacts with in the last few years. And so, um, as far as like, getting to the point of like the move on. Uh, 100% house party thing. I don't know if we'll even have time to do that, but I know that we've gotten reaction from different like chapters of Move On or something. So, I, you know, she there there is that kind of uh, of interest, but I'm, I'm sure not. I would think that uh, the candidates, one more than the other, uh, would be concerned with this happening again. And have have you? I, I'm assuming that they're going to be working with a lot of these organizations. And I, have you had a chance to maybe see if you can? somehow work with them, or maybe they can even help get publicity out for, for a shoot the vote, you know. Yeah, yeah, we've we had, uh, we've been able to get it to uh, some people in the Obama campaign, and by that, you know, it hit so many different volunteers, I don't even know what that really means. <laughs> but, uh, but at least some people are actually uh, full-timing it, but um, I, uh, I know that they're aware enough that uh, they already dispatched, I think, a lawsuit in Michigan, this happened this week, maybe or late last week, uh, against uh, some uh, purging efforts that were happening there based on uh, foreclosures that happened. And so that was, uh, you know, and they answered that like within a day or something, or, or a day and a half as to when that had been even been proposed anywhere. So um, I'm glad to hear that they're, you know, aware of how that happens. It's not a popular topic to advertise that you're aware of, and they're not going to like campaign on that at all. But, uh, you know, Obama did at one point uh, insist, I think in early December last year, that he, as an election lawyer, he would really be able to fight this fight to the finish, which was, you know, stood up to me as someone who actually you know, was addressing the issue with a lot of Democrats live in this sort of codependent denial about the entire thing. What did you use for video when you first started? What did you have on this movie? Uh, on the movie, we have a full-time publicist who's actually run up a, against a surprising amount of resistance to uh, report the topic. Um, and uh, through our typical independent film factors, like a couple other uh, documentaries on the same themes, but not the same exact issues, uh, getting a theatrical release as opposed to a DVD release or as opposed to getting it online. So it's the kind of thing that, you know, for a lot of reasons, it's easy for uh, uh, press, no matter how many times you call them or send DVDs, to not necessarily trip over. But it'll be interesting to see how much they respond once the election becomes has been impressing. But based on everything I saw in this film, the you know, I freak out because I see how much the purging happens months before, you know, the actual election, wherever it happens, you know. Ohio we focus on in this film because it's the swing state, but it really is the uh, the truism for the rest of the country. Whatever happens there happens everywhere else and we're just focusing on Ohio. So as I've gotten to show this just a few other states like uh, Nevada, you know, I get to hear other people's stories as to how crazy and messed up their state is and have like even more comical kinds of corruption than I thought I could ever get out of Ohio. So uh, as far as, you know, uh, video of the vote, I think we actually got really lucky just because I think in 2006, as far as the media, like every issue had been talked to death, everything. And this happened like genuinely like two weeks before the election, you know, in every organic way. So it actually was the kind of news that would perpetuate itself. And so the anxiety about voting became the new like issue to be able to cover at that point, I think. And so now what's interesting is that you do see things about caging actually kind of starting to crop up in the media. You do start to see this like permeate in ways that, you know, before you know, people wouldn't even you know, 
dare challenge. So it's starting to creep through. But uh, yeah. Oh, thanks. Um, how long did it take you to make it? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Which at times seems internal and at other times seems really efficient. I can't believe it. it <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but, you know, going into the election, you know, and, and we did shoot a whole other document in the process. That's what the little tease is for at the end uh, after we realized how well we could focus it. But um, it takes a lot of time to uh, mature and realize. What's good about taking that long is that uh, new information breaks out, like the, uh, the whole Justice Department firings issue actually opened up a whole new level as to how far and entrenched this effort of taking back elections was. It wasn't just caging a few states, it was actively firing U.S. attorneys who enforced the law, who were appointed under Bush, who weren't, you know, enforcing made-up cases. You know, once it gets out of that whole other level, it's like, oh, wow, okay, this isn't just like few ID laws here, this is crazy. So, uh, you know, it's not a documentary until you change the topic two or three times. <laughs> so, uh, any other questions? Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, now that he's an independent journalist, is uh, Carl Rove doing some good reporting on this? <laughs> Carl Rove actually, uh, you know, actually offered the sage words that the McCain campaign might have been attacking a little too hard last week um, in his independent role on Fox News in between his hours spent on the McCain campaign. <laughs> so uh, it'll be interesting to see. But as far as how much uh, Rogue is in charge, you know, it, 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 as much as you see in this film, like, my God, they thought of everything. You know, there, it, I, I think in following this election, there are enough factors that make me realize that even he can't, like, control everything or predict how things are going to go. He wanted Romney. He wasn't like thinking Palin would be this phenomenon, you know, he's not all that. Uh, the caging thing is is working, but so many people are so onto that shit by now in different areas that, you know, that in different communities that they can rebel against that. So I'm actually trying to work with uh, uh, some of the journalists in this film. I, I don't even know if we'll be able to get it out if, before the election, but it would actually be the Carl Rove playbook. You've heard about it. <laughs> they always say it's a page of the Carl Rove playbook. This would actually be the playbook. <laughs> <laughs> based on the different tactics of distortion or misinformation <coughs> or attacking the strange or things like that that you know so well that will be the wisdom that will live beyond Karl Rove should he be indicted before the end of the year. So, uh, yes, sir. Do you send the film to Blackwell? Uh, not yet. Not yet. We're actually, we've literally just gotten some of the early press DVDs. But what's great is that Blackwell actually keeps emerging in this campaign in different ways. There's this anti-Obama documentary about to come out, I think any day now, called Hype. And uh, who's the uh, first uh, official person in the trailer to assure you that there's something much darker, more disturbing beneath the surface of Obama? But J. Kenneth Blackwell. So uh, as much as that trailer and that film gets pushed, the more you know we would want to publicize and follow that up. He also. Um, just got announced, uh, just got appointed to the RNC Rules Committee. I'm sorry, the RNC Platform Committee for this year. So he's actually part of the platform that uh, McCain and Palin are spewing and whatever they actually have to get behind it. So the, uh, the uh, post uh, career jobs that uh, Blackwell's hoping to take, and you know, Frankly, I'm disappointed that he hasn't been more of a go-to for the Republican Party to attack Obama, and I think he's miffed too that he hasn't been like the you know the official guy to be able to take out the black candidate. So I, I would look for some extra special efforts by him to try to be that go-to guy because <laughs> the next couple of months it doesn't miss you know this election cycle. So uh, anything else? Yeah. Um, I'll just talk to you later. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. Again.